Hello, welcome to this video course. In this video, you'll learn how to start a YouTube channel for your business. Before we start, let's take a look at the breakdown of what you'll be learning. I'll be introducing you to YouTube and how you can benefit from this social media platform for your business. You'll learn how to create and also personally customize a YouTube business channel to maximize audience engagement and retention that will benefit your business revenue. YouTube is one of the largest and most popular social media platforms on the internet to date. It's a platform with over 1 billion users, and it's regularly reaching more 18 to 34 and 18 to 49 year olds than any other cable network in the US. YouTube has become the new marketing platform for business because of this immense amount of audience from all around the world. Statistics have shown that YouTube visitors are generally watching around 6 billion hours of video every month. ModCloth, an American online retailer of women's clothing, launched its branded YouTube channel in 2008 and has achieved nearly a million views and has over 4,000 subscribers. Being a business based on the internet, ModCloth markets its business through digital media, including video ads, because it delivers fast, accurate, and analytical data to track the performance, impact, and return on investment. YouTube is a great platform for your business because it allows you to not only share your message, but also to engage with the core customer base, building deeper levels of loyalty and engagement. YouTube, the second biggest search engine in the world, allows us to integrate SEO, referral content, and paid campaigns while reaching the greatest possible audience across platforms and devices, says a ModCloth representative. It's amazing to see our brand come to life through the emotional impact of video. It is the ultimate medium for us to engage our audience and, more importantly, for them to engage with us. Now let me show you how to create your own business channel. First of all, do you know that all YouTube accounts need to be directly connected to a Google Plus account? You can either use an existing Google account to create your YouTube account, or you can set up a YouTube account from scratch, and a Google account will be created for you in the process. So if you have an existing Google Plus page or a Gmail address, you already have a Google account that you can use to create a YouTube channel. Here are the simple steps to create your YouTube channel using your Google account. First, log on to the website www.youtube.com. Then sign in with the email address attached to your existing Google account. Do make sure that you're logged into the Google Plus account when you're doing this. Then click on the profile icon in the top right corner where your page's thumbnail is and click the drop down. Click on the Creator Studio button that looks like this wheel icon. Then click on Create a new channel. Right here, you will have to name your channel and select a category that best describes your business. On the other hand, if you don't have an existing Google account, here are the steps to create your YouTube channel. Similarly, log in to www.youtube.com, then click on Sign In on the top right corner of the page. Then select Create Account. You'll then be prompted to fill in this form to create your Google account. Once you're done creating your Google account, you'll be taken to the YouTube homepage. On your left, there will be a list of tabs. Click on My Channel. A pop-up like this will appear, and you should click on Use a Business or Other Name. Then do the same thing. Name your channel and select a category that best describes your business. This is also where a Google Plus page will be automatically created for you under this name as well. So now that you have already created a YouTube channel, let's get started on customizing the channel to fully represent your business. Here's your main channel page. There are three things that you'll need to pay attention to and specifically customize, and they are your channel icon, channel art, and channel description. Just like any other social media platform, the outlook of your YouTube channel is the most direct branding of your business. Adding a specific channel icon will increase your business channel's identity and allow your audience to recognize your branding. The default icon for your channel is the profile photo associated with your Google Plus account, so you can change it here on YouTube if you wish to. Here's a recommended guideline given by the YouTube support when creating a new channel icon. JPEG, GIF or GIF, BMP or PNG files. No animated GIFs though. 
800 by 800 pixels squared. Square or round images are rendered at 98 by 98 pixels. And remember this, do not upload pictures containing celebrities, nudity, artwork, or copyrighted images since it violates YouTube's community guidelines. You'll risk having your channel banned or deleted if you do so. You can use channel art to brand your channel's identity and customize an appearance that only your business channel has. Your channel art will be visible on all platforms where viewers can see your channel. Although it might differ in appearance on desktop, mobile, and TV displays due to specific dimensions. For the best results on all devices, we recommend uploading a single 2560 by 1440 pixel image. To upload your photo, click the Add Channel Art button in the middle of the cover photo area. Alternately, mouse over the photo space to reveal an Edit button in the upper right corner to open a drop down menu. Select Edit Channel Art and then either drag or upload the image you want. When you upload a photo, or select an existing one, you'll then get a preview of how it will look on different devices. The channel art display changes according to the device used. Usually the channel art will show as a narrow horizontal panorama on a desktop web browser and on a mobile device. Here's a recommended guideline you can refer to. Minimum width should be 2048 by 1152 pixels. This is the quote safe area where text and logos are guaranteed not to be cut off when displayed on different devices. Maximum width should be 2560 by 423 pixels. That means that the quote safe area is always visible. The areas to each side of the channel art are visible depending on the viewer's browser size. The file size should be four megabytes or smaller. You can also add in logo and text for branding and marketing purposes. If you're using an image that's 2560 by 1440 pixels, the safe area is precisely in the center at 1540 by 427 pixels. You can use this area to input things like your logo, company name, and even the promotion of the month. Having the logo and text within the safe area ensures that the message does not get cut off and that it will appear as intended even across different platforms. The last step to customizing your YouTube business channel is to fill in the channel description box. In this text box, enter a description of your brand or the type of content that you plan on sending out. As you write your channel description, be mindful to craft it according to how it will appear across the site and around the web. You'll need a description which includes your most important content that can best describe and represent your business. Here's a recommended guideline for you to refer to when you draft your channel description. The crucial first five lines. The first two lines of the description box are displayed next to your video in search and when posted on social media. Write powerful punchlines that best describe your business. Maximize the usage of keywords that will increase your ranking in search engines. Include HTML links. Include links to any other related sites to your business. You can also include a link to your free offer or lead magnet if you have any. YouTube gives you 500 characters to write in your description box use each one to the fullest. Treat it like a little blog post and leverage it to the greatest value in order to increase your search ranking, not just on YouTube search, but also on other search engines connected to YouTube. Don't waste your credit. So you've just learned about how to start a YouTube channel for your business, as well as customizing your channel to gain higher recognition and engagement. Your channel will appear in search engines and suggested channel categories across YouTube. So make sure it's appealing and unique. For more customization guidelines, like customizing SEO, creating videos, and more, tune in for the next video. I'll see you in the next one. Hello and welcome back to the video course. In this module, you'll learn how to optimize your YouTube SEO to reach targeted audiences. I'll explain what SEO is and how it works. You'll learn why you should optimize SEO for your YouTube channel, and I'll guide you through five best strategies to the ultimate SEO optimization that'll increase your search rankings and help you gain massive leads as well as sales. So what is SEO? SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization. It's a method of strategies, techniques, and tactics used to increase the amount of visitors to a website by obtaining a high ranking placement in the search results page of a search engine, like Google, Yahoo, or Bing. The most commonly and widely used search engines are Google, YouTube, Bing, 
and Yahoo. So how does SEO work? Search engines are answer machines. When a person searches on the internet, the search engine goes through billions of documents in its database and performs two things. Firstly, it returns results that are only relevant or useful as to what the person searched for in the first place. Secondly, it ranks those results according to the popularity of the websites providing the information. This means that SEO will determine the relevance and popularity of your website. So why should you optimize your YouTube SEO? YouTube is the world's second biggest search engine. More than 1 billion users watch hundreds of millions of hours of video each and every day. YouTube is a massive traffic source. So optimizing your SEO for your YouTube channel will greatly increase your ranking in search engines, which will lead to more traffic to your channel and boost your business revenue. Now let's get into the process of optimizing your YouTube SEO. These are the five best strategies to ultimate optimization. First up, outstanding video titles. When you upload and publish a video, make sure your video title is short and straight to the point. Customize it to less than 10 words and within 100 characters. For example, how to gain massive leads in three days. This is to ensure clear communication to your audience. Most people do not read more than nine words during their search. Therefore, a video title that can attract your audience's attention has to be clear and purpose-driven. To make sure that your audience will feel intrigued to click on your video, offer an actionable step-by-step -step guide. For example, five ways to earn double in a week. This kind of title will gain more interest than the usual ones because it's benefit-driven and solves a problem. Other than that, interesting video titles which you may consider using are controversial ones and open-ended titles. These titles invoke curiosity and persuade viewers to click on the video to find out more. Of course, the titles will work together with the video thumbnail, which we'll cover later in the course. You should also insert as many prominent keywords as you can. For example, main benefit, best, secret, and more. These are some examples of keywords that are prominently searched on the internet and have been proven to drive more clicks. Second strategy, write compelling descriptions for your channel. Make sure your channel description is at least 150 words long. The reason is because what you write will act as the Google search meta description that will appear on search engine results. This is also where you want to insert your target keyword that will increase relevance and popularity. Another tip is to insert a call to action link after the 150 words. This is where you bring your audience to another level deeper into what your business has to offer and what you can do to help solve their problem. Provide them solutions, tell them what you have in store for them, and let them know what they can do if they want to engage with your business. Make sure you add as many additional pieces of information as you can. For example, links to your other relevant websites, services, or anything related to the video you published, and also, of course, your business. The most important thing is to fully utilize the 4,000 plus characters YouTube allows in the description box. Remember, the more you type, the higher chance you rank better in keywords on search engines. It's a very simple mechanism. The more you put out there, the better the chance will be it matches someone's need or demand. Moving on to the third strategy, utilize tags attached to your video. YouTube generously allows up to 500 characters for the tag box, so fully utilize it on every video, just the same as your video description. The more you use, the higher chance it'll hit the jackpot. There are two types of tag you can use for your video. Specific tags are those one sentence that people key into the search bar, while single word tags are usually related keywords to people's search query. Another purpose of including common but unique tags in all your YouTube videos is it actually serves to ensure that the up next videos will appear to be all of your videos. YouTube has this function where it will prompt a list of recommended videos that are related to the current video the user is watching. Therefore, when you optimize your tags in your YouTube videos, you're also connecting the relevance of all of your videos one to another. This way you can ensure that the quote up next videos will all be your own videos and your audience is prompted to watch all of your videos instead of your competitors. The fourth strategy is customizing your video thumbnail you have to include text in your video thumbnail. The reason is that 
As your video gets shared and embedded at various places on the internet, most of the posts will not include your video title, but rather just the embedded thumbnail. So your video thumbnail itself has to be the intriguing factor to get people to click into your video. And make sure to keep note that the standard dimensions of an ideal video thumbnail is 120 by 68 pixels. Also, you must check how the text looks at this dimension before you upload because it might run out of alignment due to different formatting. Lastly, the fifth strategy is to include massive call to action remarks in your video. You have to work hard to encourage subscribing and linking from your audience. Why? Because YouTube's algorithm doesn't use backlinks. So it puts a whole lot of weight on user experience signals. That means if people enjoy watching your video, expect to crush it in YouTube search. The best way to make sure your audience does what you ask for is to directly perform a call to action request or demand in your video itself where your audience is engaged. What you can do is at the end of each video you publish, give people a strong call to action that encourages them to subscribe. Let me give you an example. Marie Forleo, a master of YouTube marketing who already has more than 3 million subscribers, would still always ask people to subscribe at the end of every video. By the end of her video, this is what she says. And I quote, We've got new episodes each and every week, so make sure you subscribe. You can follow me on the social links below, and of course you can check me out on marieforleo.com. Thank you so much, and don't miss out on Marie TV. Notice how she used this closing for each of her videos to inform her audience of how they can expect new episodes from her channel, and how she prompted them to subscribe to keep notified, as well as providing more options for them to find out more about her and her program. This is a great strategy you can refer to and apply in your video closing. It'll help you to ensure your audience is fully engaged with your video content and intrigue them to perform your call to action. To be effective and efficient about it, all you need to do is record one good call to action video and keep reusing it as your quote outro clip at the end of every video that you upload on YouTube. That way you save time, energy, and production costs, and you can speed things up. So this is the end of this video module. So this is the end of this module, but by applying these five strategies you just learned, you'll be able to reach a larger audience and a more targeted audience and increase the high converting leads that you generate from your videos. Join me in the next video where we learn more about YouTube for your business. I'll see you in the next one. Hello and welcome back to the video course. In this video, you'll learn how to make viral videos for ultimate branding for your business YouTube channel. Before we start, let's take a look at the breakdown of what you'll be learning. In this video course, I'll explain how YouTube's viewership is influenced by viral videos. You'll learn what kind of video content will make your video go viral. I'll also be providing you a couple of great strategies you can use to create your very own viral video to achieve massive branding for your business. YouTube is the second largest search engine on the internet. Nearly one out of every two internet users are on YouTube. According to YouTube statistics, 6 billion hours of video are viewed every month and they recorded a 50% increase in just one year. This shows that YouTube's viewership covers a really huge scale of people on the internet. And how does that happen? Through viral video viewing on YouTube. 60 hours of video are uploaded every minute, or one hour of video is uploaded to YouTube every second. Over 4 billion videos are viewed a day. Viral video is what boosts YouTube's viewership every single day. So how do you determine if a video is viral? Why do some videos become wildly popular while others don't? Kevin Ayoka, YouTube's head of trends and culture, gave a talk on TED Youth on how videos go viral on YouTube. In this talk, he highlighted three things that make a YouTube video go viral. The first factor Ayoka mentioned was the tastemakers. What's a tastemaker? A tastemaker is someone famous that makes something unnoticed become famous also. Take this example. Rebecca Black's Friday became one of the most popular videos because Michael J. Nelson from Mystery Science Theater 
posted a joke about this video on his Twitter. Then a lot of people started talking about it everywhere on the internet. This sort of snowball effect, whereby a famous person shares a point of view and followers continue to share it with an even larger and extended bunch of audience, greatly accelerates the process of a video becoming viral on YouTube. Next, Ayoka mentioned about the common content of viral videos. It's the unexpectedness factor. Viewers tend to be more attracted to unexpected content within a video as they find it interesting and intriguing. Viral videos like Rebecca Black's Friday and Nyan Cat with repetitive melody and motion, or even the Gangnam Style video by Korean pop star Psy. What scripts could you have written that would have contained anything related to these videos in it? YouTube is a platform where one hour of video is uploaded every second, and viral videos have one thing in common, which is video content has to be unique and unexpected in order to stand out among other videos on YouTube. Then Ayoka pointed out the most powerful factor of all, which is the participation from people all over the internet. What he meant by participation is the phenomenon where a certain topic or issue that just somehow is able to get everyone involved. Taking Rebecca Black's Friday as an example again, there's a crazy amount of more than 10,000 parodies of Friday on YouTube now. It's created a phenomenon where people all over the internet participated in the issue, which in this case is typically humor and joke. This is how community participation makes a video viral, because of the widespread involvement that gets more and more people to notice the existence of the original video and therefore give it more traffic and views. So according to Kevin Ayoka, tastemakers, creative participating communities, complete unexpectedness, these are characteristics of a new kind of media and a new kind of culture where anyone has access and the audience defines the popularity and would drive a video viral on YouTube. Now, I'll also be giving you three great strategies you can use to create your very own viral video to achieve branding, leads, and sales for your business. The first strategy is to jump on the bandwagon. This means connecting your video to another video that is already viral on YouTube. Have you ever noticed how after you've seen one video go viral, you'll see dozens of mashups, remixes, and parodies jumping on the bandwagon? It's a norm where people tend to like watching videos that reference things they remember seeing before. It's this sense of participation and involvement that attracted them to watch the video in the first place. How so? because it simply gives them the feeling that they are in on the joke. That makes them more likely to look kindly on your video and pass it along to their friends. More than 2,000 parodies of Gangnam Style videos were uploaded to YouTube at one point in just two weeks of the original video's highest peak of popularity. Some other examples of viral videos are Rebecca Black's Friday and Nyan Cat. So what you can do is when you're going to make a viral video, think about the contents, of other recent viral videos and how you can take advantage of their popularity. For example, you can do reaction videos, parodies, reenactments, or other related video content. Viewership on YouTube in the past few years has shown that videos of shorter length generally get more views than longer length videos. This is because humans' attention span on a video is said to be shorter than a goldfish's attention span. The New York Times cited a study on viewer abandonment in which nearly a fifth of viewers clicked out of a video in the first 10 seconds. This became more pronounced with videos that were slow to reach the punchline, causing the rate of viewers to click out to double. So making your video short is a crucial optimization method. Keep your content short. Focus on images and craft headlines that say it all. Rich media like GIFs that play on a continuous loop can capture attention effectively without the viewer deeming it taking too much time. So try to include more details in short length videos. Short length is always good for getting more views and conversions. Some examples of short informative videos that are usually viral are videos of life hacks, brilliant ideas, and unexpected useful information. And the third strategy is to go all out on promoting your video. The fastest and most direct way to do this is to connect with other social media platforms. You need rapid distribution to a large group of people very quickly to be able to have something go viral. So you have to make it as easy as possible for people to share your video. 
You should post your video on YouTube, Vimeo, Facebook, Dig, Tumblr, Reddit, and anywhere else that people are likely to find it and share it. The idea is to spread and promote your video to anyone, anywhere possible. The most popular viral videos didn't become viral by accident. There are companies who spend huge amounts of money to create a viral video that are also spending thousands of dollars, quote, secretly promoting it. They would use multiple YouTube accounts, form sock puppets, and other clandestine methods. Since assuming that you may not have the same resources, what you can do is use what you do have. Send to your friends, relatives, and colleagues who you think would appreciate it and ask them to pass it along. It's by word of mouth and the snowball phenomenon that a video will go viral. So we've come to the end of this module on how to make your video go viral for ultimate business branding through YouTube. Join me in the next one where you'll learn more about YouTube for your business channel. If your business is not on social media yet, then I hate to break it to you. You're leaving a lot of money on the table. How much exactly? Well, check this out. As of the time of this video, there are more than 3.4 billion internet users worldwide. 2.3 billion of them are on social media. That's nearly every 7 in 10 people. And in 2016, Facebook has 1.59 billion users, Instagram has 400 million users, Pinterest has 100 million users. Now, you're probably thinking, hey, if I could have done it, I would have already done it, right? And What's wrong with email and other forms of old-school marketing? Well, according to Hootsuite, social media advertising budgets doubled worldwide over the last two years, going from $16 billion in 2014 to a whopping $31 billion in 2016. Social media spending in the U.S. alone is expected to increase to $17.34 billion in 2019. In 2016, Facebook brought in $6.8 billion in advertising revenue, up from $4.3 billion the year before. In the same year, Instagram brought in $1.53 billion in mobile ad revenue. The number of YouTube channels earning six figures per year is up 50% year over year. Hard not to see where this is going. Now, if you're having a tough time finding new customers, or keeping your current database of buyers engaged and interested, or standing out from the rest of your competitors and other Me Too marketers, then this might just be the missing puzzle piece. And what if I tell you it doesn't always have to be like this? Until now, that is. Because I'm about to show you how you can instantly modernize your business and give it the presence it deserves. While most people casually use social media for rewardless debates and spending idle time, I'm going to show you how to turn your social media accounts into an instant ATM. And even if you don't have a business yet, that's okay, because this is a business in itself. With your permission, I'd like to introduce Social Media Income. Social Media Income is a huge 36-part course on how you, or anyone, can use some of the most popular social media platforms to grow your business, build a brand, generate leads, and get sales. This isn't some theoretical stuff. It's backed by tens of thousands of dollars and countless hours spent cracking the code. And unlike most courses out there that cover just one method or one social media platform, this mega training program covers five. Facebook, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Instagram, and YouTube. Here's what you'll learn. How to utilize Facebook Live as a sales funnel. How to reach a targeted audience by optimizing YouTube SEO. How to customize LinkedIn messages to expand your network. How to hold Instagram contests to gain fame and exposure. How to gain more views with Pinterest Rich Pin. And much more waiting to be discovered inside. For many reasons, social media income stands on its own merits. And I know of social media gurus charging prices like $2,000 and above for their programs. But I have no intention of charging anything exorbitant today. In fact, I want to make this as affordable as possible so everyone can discover the mastery of social media. Personally, I think it's a shame that we are surrounded by an abundance of opportunities, which is growing day by day, but they remain undertapped or underutilized. And I hope this will change the way you do business. Act now.
click on the order button below to get instant online access. If you are still thinking about it, look, just maybe will do. You see, social media income is backed by my 100% satisfaction guarantee, or it's your money back for the next 30 days. Just give it a go, and I'll let the quality of the training speak for itself. However, if for any reason at all you are not satisfied with it, simply return within 30 days for a full refund. You have nothing to lose, unless you don't care about growing your business, which you'd be out of your mind. So what are you waiting for? Click on the order button now and get instant access risk-free. Hello, and welcome back to the video course. In this module, you'll learn how to use featured content to increase your YouTube subscribers and views. Before we start, let's take a look at the breakdown of what you'll be learning. In this module, I'll explain what YouTube featured content is and how it helps you to increase your subscribers and video views. And I'll guide you through how to use this feature in a step-by-step -step screenshot tutorial. So what is YouTube featured content? Featured content in YouTube can be a video or a playlist. The purpose is to promote a new video to all of your audience. How does featured content help increase your video views and gain more subscribers to your channel? Well, it enables you to embed a chosen video or playlist across all of the videos on your channel and ensures that returning subscribers to your channel see your featured content first. Featuring a video on YouTube is like having free advertising for your other videos on your channel. You can choose to make any one of your videos or a playlists appear as a banner on all your videos at any time you wish. You just need to customize which video and you set the time that you want it to appear and disappear. Other than that, by featuring a video across all your YouTube videos, you're also keeping your audience tuned in to your channel for a longer period of time. Tuned in audiences often translate into engagement, which then increases the likelihood of top of mind recall when they think of the category that your brand is in. For example, if you're a chocolate brand and you do a video animation about chocolate or something related, whenever your audience thinks of buying a bar of chocolate, there is a likely increased potential that they would pick your brand off the shelf. Of course, this is not the sole driving purchase decision of consumers, but it assists in increasing the potential of sales to happen. Featured videos is where YouTube will be taking note of how many likes, comments, or views your video is getting, and it will rank you accordingly in their search engine results. So this means that the featured content can be used to increase your search engine ranking for your entire channel. Now let me show you how to enable featured content in your YouTube channel. First, go to your YouTube account dashboard, click on the person icon on the top right corner, then click on the creator studio button. Second, on the left column, click on the channel tab. From the drop down menu, click on featured content. Then select featured content. A dialog box like this will appear. Select the content that you'd like to feature from the available options. Let me briefly explain more about the two available options you can select from. Most recent upload is where you choose to automatically feature the most recently uploaded video in your channel. This means that YouTube will automatically feature the video that is most recently uploaded in your channel in the featured video slot. On the other hand, specific videos or playlists are where you can select any video or playlist you want to feature from your channel, or you can enter other people's YouTube video or playlist URL. So let's just say you choose to feature a video or playlist. You have to select an, you have to select an existing video from your channel that you want to feature. Then click on the save button on the bottom right. You will then be looking at this customization of your selected featured content. There are three things you would need to customize. First is display time. You can choose and specify when exactly you want the featured content to appear within the current video time frame. As for optimized timing, if you decide to tick this box, YouTube will try to choose the best time to show your promotion based on past viewer behavior in each video. And custom message is where you can insert a message and it will appear alongside the featured content. When you're done customizing, simply click on the update button and you're done. The best idea is to utilize the customization options to promote and drive your marketing campaign. 
For example, you could use custom messages to put a link to your online store or a website and have visitors go through the sales funnel or even put in marketing messages that promote 50% off a certain item. The possibilities are honestly nearly endless if you're being creative about it. Bear in mind that the content that you've selected will display consistently across devices in the bottom left corner and appear in what to watch next for subscribed viewers. It will also include a label with the video or playlist information that appears when you hover over the icon. We've reached the end of this module. Head on to the next one to learn more about YouTube for your business. Hello, welcome back to the YouTube for your business channel course. In this module, you'll learn how to use YouTube Live to convert your potential prospects into real clients. Before we start, let's take a look at a breakdown of what you'll be learning. In this video module, I'll explain what is YouTube Live and how it can help your business. I'll also be guiding you step by step on how to use YouTube Live, as well as giving you some result promising strategies on maximizing your YouTube Live experience. So what is YouTube Live? Before YouTube introduced this new function to its users, every video you watch on YouTube, up until now, was pre-recorded and then only uploaded onto the site. Then YouTube came up with this new function called YouTube Live, which conveniently allows people to start streaming videos in real time, then recording them for playback later. YouTube has tested this function in the past with events like a U2 concert, a Barack Obama speech, and the Indian Cricket League. There has since that time proven to be a huge demand for it. This creates massive opportunities for businesses to adopt this live video streaming function into their video marketing. How will YouTube Live help your business? The most distinctive and immediate effects from using YouTube Live for your business is gaining engagement and awareness, as well as establishing credibility and offering a sense of exclusivity to your audience. Use YouTube Live to increase the sense of engagement with your audience and raise your business branding awareness. Here are two effective contents that you can use for your YouTube Live session. The first is sharing live events with your audience. This kind of live video can make them feel more connected to your company or industry. The key here is not just showing the event, but also letting your audience be a part of it. The feeling of involvement will create a connection between your business and your audience. For example, you can cover events like the release or announcement of news and new products. Secondly, you can also do short live interviews with employees or clients to increase engagement with your audience. These interviews not only show the human side of your company, but also offer personal ideas and opinions. As YouTube Live has the function of allowing your audience to participate in a live chat box, your audience can be interactive with you and also other viewers at the same time, thus creating a connection that opens up to opinions, feedback, and also new ideas. This is a great way to boost engagement and also raise brand awareness. You can also use YouTube Live to create credibility and exclusivity. With live streaming video, you can show your audience what it takes to go from concept to product completion. It's common that consumers don't see behind the scenes on how your products or services are created. So this is a great way to give your audience a glimpse of what's involved in building your product and brand. Then in order to offer a sense of exclusivity to your audience, you can live stream behind the scenes. Anything that's typically off limits or provides a different point of view will be something fresh and something they've never before experienced. This will intrigue your audience's interest and they'll tune into your brand. An example is live streaming your company events behind the scenes. Now I'll be showing you how to use YouTube live step by step. To broadcast live videos on YouTube, you must first find your YouTube live dashboard. When you sign into your YouTube account, click on the profile icon at the top right and click on the Creator Studio button. Next, click on Live Streaming on the left sidebar menu. Then click on the Get Started button. If it's your first time, you'll have to be prompted to perform an account verification process. This is where you'll associate a phone number with your channel and get a link to share when you start live streaming to your audience. After you enter your phone number, Agree to the terms and conditions of using YouTube Live. Your channel will then be enabled to the functions of YouTube Live. So upon enabling YouTube Live for your channel, 
Prior to starting your first YouTube Live streaming, let me go through the YouTube Live dashboard so you are familiarized with the functions of each tab. I'll briefly explain these three essential parts of your YouTube Live dashboard. Number one, the information box. Number two, the setup and coding software. And number three, the live chat function. So the first one, your information box. The information box is where you customize the details about your YouTube live streaming. It's similar to the information you usually provide whenever you upload a video to YouTube. Under the first tab, basic info, you will start filling out your live stream's title, description, time to schedule the live stream, category, and privacy options. Then click on the second tab, stream options, to enable the following stream settings. And if you want to monetize your live event, you can click on the monetization tab to do so. Moving on to the second one, setup for encoding software. You will need to use specific software to broadcast YouTube Live from your desktop. YouTube recommends several different software options, including open broadcast software, free open source software for Mac and Windows users. Find the information found in the encoder setup box to connect open broadcaster software to YouTube Live. Copy and paste this exact information into your open broadcaster software settings as well to connect. And the last part, the third one, your live chat. This is where people can directly engage and get in contact with you while you're streaming live. You have the option whether you would like to enable live chat or not, as well as automatically blocking spam messages to avoid the chat box from clogging up with unnecessary spamming. So when you've customized the above essential setups and you're ready to start your first YouTube live stream, simply start streaming from your software and you're good to go. Before we wrap up this video module, here are some strategies that I'd highly recommend you use during your YouTube live streams. Pre-announce is where you announce beforehand when and what you'll be doing in your live stream. This strategy is best used for sales campaigns as it will build up hype and eagerness from your audience to participate to get their hands on limited sales offers. It will keep them tuned into your updates and live streams. Ideal time refers to when is the best time or hour to do it. This strategy highly depends on your targeted audience demographic. For example, results have shown that most posting on social media sites tends to perform best at around 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. However, you should do your research on your targeted audience and find out the best suited and ideal time to your live stream in order to gain maximum audience participation. Content is what you would say in the live stream. Exciting and interesting contents will attract your audience to tune in. You can refer to our third video module in this series to find out about what kind of content will make a viral video, in which case this will make your live stream more engaging and attractive. Let me just give you an idea here. An Ask Me Anything session seems to be a very hot topic for live streams nowadays. Due to the audience's curiosity over a business or for those who have specific inquiries. And lastly, reminder refers to a posting or a shout out you can do to your subscribers to inform them that the live video can be rewatched on your channel. This will ensure those who have missed certain parts of your live stream or those who have missed the whole live stream entirely can refer back to the original video through your channel. This can also encourage your subscribers to view your other videos in the channel as well. So we've come to the end of this module. Check out the last module to see how we wrap up. I'll see you in the next one. YouTube ads for high conversions. Before we start, let's take a look at the breakdown of what you will be learning. In this video module, I'll explain what is YouTube ads, how it increases conversions, and I'll teach you how to use it step by step. So what is YouTube ads? YouTube is a social media platform that has become highly effective revenue for reaching massive audiences through online advertising. How so? It has over 1 billion users and people are watching 50% more video on the platform year over year. For online marketers and business owners, this is a huge opportunity to get in front of a large audience, targeted audience, and expand the business branding to convert sales. YouTube ads allow you to run paid ads on someone else's videos as well as getting paid to let others run their ads on your videos. 
So how does it increase conversions? YouTube ads can be used to increase your brand and product visibility, and this in turn translates into potential sales and revenue. Let's say that there's a highly anticipated video or a viral video that people are bound to watch, and because you are running paid ads, your advert appears before the video, and viewers who choose to watch it get to know more about your product, brand, or offering. And interested consumers will then click to know more and purchase your product or service. YouTube ads enables two choices, to run your ads on others' videos or to let others run their ads on your videos. By running your ads on others' videos, you'll be gaining brand and product visibility as your ads will reach a larger bunch of audience and increase awareness towards your business. On the other hand, letting others run their ads on your videos allows you to generate revenue as you're getting paid for the view count. The more audience that watches your videos, the more they get exposed to ads, and thus the more you'll get paid because your video has helped generate brand awareness for others. Both ways work to increase your conversion rates, as monetization with YouTube ads generally involves maximum audience engagement. By increasing your brand awareness and reaching out to large targeted audiences, you're boosting your percentage of conversions as well. Before we move on to learn how to use YouTube ads, let's take a look at the types of ads available for your preference or selection that best suit your business. There are two types of ads on YouTube, the display ads and the video ads. Display ads on YouTube allow you to place your ads in videos where they'll appear alongside related YouTube videos or as pop-ups within YouTube videos. Below are the types of display ads that YouTube offers. Standard banner ad is similar to Google display ads where it's available as a standard banner or rich media ad. Use bright and colorful images to grab your audience's attention and interest. In-video overlay ads are ads that appear as pop-ups with existing contextually targeted videos that are targeted by selected queries. URL inserted to the context can be clicked on and users will be directed to destinations outside of YouTube. As for video ads on YouTube, here are the types of ads offered. In-stream video ads are ads that pop out when you're watching your YouTube videos. In-slate video ads are ads that play before your video starts. In-search video ads are ads that appear above or to the right of regular YouTube search results. In-display video ads are ads that appear alongside other YouTube videos. Now let me guide you through the steps to create an ad that will be shown on other users' content. Go to YouTube's advertising pages and click Get Started. Now you're ready to launch your campaign. The first step is to select which video you want to promote. Just find the video that you want to advertise, then copy and paste the video URL in this box. After you've selected your video, there will be a preview like this so you can see how it will appear to other people who are watching it on YouTube after browsing the internet or finding it via YouTube search. Next, you need to enter the information for your text ad. Ad text includes the headline and two lines of description of how you would like to tell people what your ad is about. The ad text and descriptions are extremely important when you want to grab a customer's attention. Be short and straight to the point. You'd want to key in punchlines that will increase engagement or click-through rates. Then choose a thumbnail you'd like to display to your audience. Then specify where you want to send your traffic when users click on the video or ad. You can decide if you want users who click on your ad to be sent to your YouTube channel or to your website. Next, you need to decide how much to spend and set your budget. You can opt for a daily budget and set a specific amount. Then choose a maximum click per view so you're not spending more, including more per view, than you want to. Next, you can choose a target audience if you want your ad to be displayed to specific targeted audiences. As you can see, the targeting criteria includes age, gender, web activity, and user interests. As you create your YouTube ad, you can find a small tab on the right side of your page. This is where you can see approximately how many video views that the budget you set will bring to you. And finally, 
Now, sign into your Google account and enter your billing information to pay for the ads. Then review your ads and submit them for approval. And you're done. You've now created your own YouTube ads. This is the end of the YouTube for Business course. I wish you all the best in bringing your business to a higher level with YouTube.